What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 21-22. Tops UEFA Champions League Merlin Chrome Soccer just sold out. This is a 12-box case break. Picket team's number 12. And again, all cards ship. Full hobby case. Here we go. Um, so these are the customer names and the teams. So sh People's actually bought out the last, like, five teams. And there you go, as you can see there. So thank you. And thank you to everybody, of course, that still bought in as well. Um, this is the list of 17 teams in the combo list. Just wanted to show that really quick. That's all going to go to People's, any of those hits there. And uh, another case of Merlin off the board. We can also just take this out of our warehouse inventory. And honestly, guys, this Merlin is beautiful, I must say. I love the thicker cardstock. Kind of more like a 55 point rather than a 35 point. Although it does fit in a 35, but a little bit thicker. Uh, the colors look amazing. The cards just look, cards just tex the texture of the cards is just great. Looks really, really nice this year. And as you can see, customers also like it a lot. So, continue on, guys. And I know it's a baseball release date today, but ain't nothing wrong with throwing in a little soccer case break as well. Especially since this was only a new release two days ago, so it doesn't shock me. But I think baseball, I think after that hit parade, guys, honestly, I mean, I don't know. We might do another one of these Marlins tonight. Who knows? But I think after that base, after that Jaspi hit parade, I think it's going to be a lot of baseball the rest of the night. You know, that Immaculate, it looks like it's already down to like five. Send out a little code for top chrome. Maybe we could do some more pretty teams. And again, guys, I, I am planning. I'm planning to stay late. Hell, I might even sleep over if you guys keep me busy. I'll tell the wife to just go home and pick me up tomorrow morning. You know, I don't mind sleeping here at Jaspies. So, buy those spots in Immaculate. Buy those spots in Tops Chrome. And let's get all those breaks done. Uh, the Witch Filler, hope so. Hip Parade, yes, it did. So, it's on the schedule. It's going to be after this Merlin break. So, probably won't start that for about an hour. So, if you don't want to stay and watch some Merlin, come back around, I think, 5.15. I think I had it on the schedule. And then, uh, we'll get that filler going for Hip Parade. I think I'm going to rip a couple boxes. Kind of make this break go by a little bit quicker. All right, way. Well, hey. You're at the right place right now, hopes up. So I'll rip a couple of boxes here just to kind of get it started, and then we'll continue on. Hell, I might even rip six boxes, and then we'll do the first six. So, man, this is a good time for you guys to get up, go get a drink. You can get that food out of the oven, microwave, air fryer, <laughs> if you are home, of course. West Coasters are probably still working. Maybe, who knows, it's Friday, I guess. East Coasters at, what, 7 o'clock? Go place that Uber Eats order, DoorDash it, Postmates it. I think I'll rip the, a couple of these boxes, like I said, and then we'll go through the fits.
second, guys. Let me go get these sleeves that I need. Salzburg didn't do too much for the last two cases. Did Joe actually hit any crazy like relic, like match balls or anything like that, Anthony? But he got match balls, though, right? I mean, just we haven't hit any of the big players, so we're kind of due a little bit now. All right. Nice. I want to get that to a uh <laughs> Hi, Arthur. How are you, Arthur? I wish you were in this break. I could pull you something nice, but maybe. Uh, are you are you in the hip parade house up? All right, anything I pull out of there will be his. Okay. All right. I seen a very interesting tweet today, Hofsep. I, I shared it with a couple of uh, Leaf hockey fan customers that we have on, on Instagram, especially Case It Hunter. He's a big Leafs guy, but uh, I don't know. I've always kind of felt this would happen, and now I, now I hope it really happens. But I remember, obviously, besides Austin Matthews being, of course, a big Coyotes fan growing up in Arizona, he always loved the Kings. You know, he said that he loved the way Kopitar played, and that was, like, one of his favorite players growing up. And... You know, it's always in Vinja, like, man, what if Matthews, like, just came to the LA Kings, right? So then I seen a, a tweet for this guy that works for TSN in Ottawa. And he was saying that, you know, his tweet today kind of got some people, like, upset and thinking. But it was just, like, it had said, uh, what did it say? I have it right here, I think. It had said... Dubas will walk Austin Matthews to unrestricted free agency in two years at the age of 27. At that point, he's off to L.A.
for seven years, 15 mil. And then Toronto starts his next rebuild. I'm like, yeah, I could do that. I was like, I would love that. You know, a lot of people say he probably would go back home to Arizona, but like, I was talking to a couple of Leaf customers, and I'm like, look, you can't tell me that you're not nervous that if you guys don't win at least the first round of the playoffs this year, things are going to get shaken up. And who's to say Matthews even wants to be there uh, once he's a free agent? He'll be an unrestricted free agent. I mean, he can go wherever he wants. You know what I mean? But that's my thing, right? Unless Arizona is a competitor, a playoff team in like two years, I get wanting to go home. That's cool. Maybe you could do that at the end of your career. But I don't think he chooses Arizona, right? He's going to want to go somewhere that's competitive. I mean, honestly, you know, I expect the Kings to make the playoffs this year and at least win a playoff series, even, even though they could have won last year. But, yeah, that would be insane, man. I'd, I'd buy that jersey in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'd probably be a season ticket holder again if that was the case. I've seen him play a couple times. I've seen him play his rookie year with LA and a couple years after that. Tomas Muller. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. Raheem Sterling. Gavi, look at that. That's a nice one there. FC Barcelona. Going to Peebles. 11 out of 250. I mean, they just had some bad luck, too, man. I mean, I don't know. It's just not... They just can't close it. They've been the better team a couple times in series. They just... Just haven't... Had that much luck closing out series. Five, uh, 25 to 25. We have Vanderson. Ronaldo. We have Christian Matsima. And a Antonio Blanco for Real Madrid. When a Diego at a 225. Yeah, I think so too, Hovsep. And who knows, in a couple years too. Well, Quick is on his last year this year. Although I love Quick and I think he can still play at a high level, I just don't think the Kings will re-bring him back. Honestly, I thought this would have been the year maybe they got rid of him and hopefully, you know, Peterson made that jump, but he hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't worked out as I thought he would. So, you know, Quick, like I said, can still play. And if you can get him in the playoffs, he's, he's a different goalie in the playoffs. But his contract's up this year. I, I don't think he comes back either. He might even retire. Kopitar, of course, too. I don't think he will retire, but I don't know if the Kings will bring him back. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. I'd hope so. I wouldn't want him to play with the NBA team. Hopefully, he just calls it. But I think he can still play at a high level. It's just obviously you can tell he's getting much older. Elliot for um, Monaco. But, yeah, I mean, you're going to have Quick's contract off the board. Eventually, you might have Kobotar's contract off the board, you know. So, a lot of the older guys will definitely be gone. And by the time you know it, that, you know, 2012-2014 class is pretty much done. Besides Dowdy. And even, even he's getting older. Gravin Birch. That's what I'm saying. So, like, you know, have him play half the season with, uh, with Peterson and then, you know, playoff time. Yes, Kopitar won't be a free agent and his, you know, eight... 10-year contract is done after next season. So he'll still be a king for the next two years for sure. But yeah, Quicks is done this year. And I think Quick will retire, honestly. I'm, I, the only way, place I can see him going back is probably going back home. I know he grew up a Rangers fan. Zidane. But I, 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 don't, think, I don't think he plays anywhere else. I think he'll retire. He'll, he'll be in the rafters. His jersey will be retired. Honestly, he has the stats to even be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, crazy to think about. But for American-born goalies, he's, he's up there, man. Graylish, and then same thing for Kobachar. He'll be in the Raptors too. Raptors, and then he'll he'll be a Hall of Famer too, I think. Danielle. So, kind of bittersweet, man. I, I grew up like I said, watching Kings hockey in the early two thousands. I mean, I've seen it my whole life, but really paid attention to it more. You know, in the early two thousands, where they were a little, a little bad.
But, you know, I grew up watching Froloff. He was my favorite player, you know. That 2006 team, you know, when Roenick was there, Conway, you know, so I endured a couple bats, a, couple, a lot of years going back there. Virgil, but when they signed Kopa, when they drafted Kopitar, man, instantly I loved that dude. I went to his first game with the Ducks, against the Ducks, I should say. And, uh, yeah, man, he's had a great career with us. Nice, Matthew, did you really? Sheesh. That's awesome, man. Gianluigi. Um, we have a customer that actually is Kopitar's neighbor. And he told me, hey, man, anytime, anytime you want any Kopitar autographs, just let me know. I'm just like, what? No. He's like, yeah, man, we're cool. You know, he always signs stuff for my, for my, my work, you know, for my team and stuff like that. And, you know, he's just such a nice guy. But the only player I think we've seen stroll in here one time, I forgot who it was. Sadio Mane. It was kind of an older Kings player, like from like late 90s, like early 2000s. I forget his name. But, you know, former players that we see strolling around here, like for professionally, like Luke Walton and his kids always come in. Matt Liner's come in a couple times, you know. Um, who else has come in a couple times? Antonio. Arthur, what's going on, man? Giovanni Reina. Oh, you work for them? Oh, okay. So, yeah, those years. Okay. I have not, Arthur. We're, we're stuck on that team random filler, man. I've been wanting to, but we ripped some immaculate baseball already. That was nice. Um, so, that, that little discount code that we have for the Pikachu team should help out. Uh, we have a Bino, Jeremy Bino. I seen he actually had a very nice assist for Villarreal last night. Came out on Sports Center top ten. Villarreal with that one. Shola. Camavinga. Joshua Kimmich. We have a Alfredo Morelos. Anthony. Harry Payne. Zidane, I wonder if Harry Kane is waiting in line. Did you guys did you guys see that uh, today? Virgil, nice another little color there for Liverpool. I think you can view the Queen for like, what is it, uh, 36 straight hours or something like that, I forgot my wife was telling me, and I was seeing video of some people literally waiting 12 plus hours in line just to see the Queen for like, uh, like I think two seconds literally, you see her like in a, obviously you're not going to be right in front of her, but you know. Uh, I seen David Beckham, he didn't have to wait in line, but David Beckham had to wait to the side for like 13 hours. Just to pay his respects. Which is wild. They were interviewing people online saying, How long are you willing to wait? And they're like, As long as it takes. I'm I'm prepared to wait for twelve hours at least. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Tell? Killing Mbappe. I would love to, Arthur, that'd be awesome. Hannibal. Gavi, Pepe, nice Sydney Ray bigger. James Madison, that is Arthur, but you never know, Susick. Oh, yeah, for sure, Eddie. I mean, she was what, queen for, what, 70-plus years? I mean, man. I honestly thought that she was going to outlive her son. <laughs> like, literally. M 
Mbappe, Mosalea, Jules. Oh yeah, it's such his favorite. He just doesn't like to watch it because he just he just loves it so much. Felix to two fifty. Weston McKinney, Vinny Jr., Mosalea, and Harry Kane for Tottenham. Speaking of Harry Kane earlier. Nicola Barella. Margo the Great, uh, Grasa, Braca. Nice Pedri. Look at that. That looks awesome. FC Barcelona with that one. 23 out of 50 gold. Did you know that Pedri scored a goal in his UEFA Champions League debut on October 20th, 2020? More than a month shy of his 18th birthday. In the 82 minute of Barcelona's victory. Did you guys know that? I don't think you guys knew that. Ronaldo. Alfonso Davies. Harry Kane. Brennan Aronson. And a surge. Savic for SS to 99. Milinkovic. Weston McKinney. Curtis Jones. Vinny Jr. 194 out of 199. Timothy Ware. All right, last box, guys, and then we'll rip the next six, and then we'll go through the uh, go through the hits. And like I said, the only thing I think uh, that is sold out is uh, that hit parade. Um. Looks like we're selling a lot of spots in Topps Chrome, though, which is great. And we're down to three left in the next Immaculate. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Let's keep it going, guys. No, I know, Eddie. I, I, like I said, not that I don't like soccer much. It's just not my biggest sport to watch. But, like I said, I, I love the hobby. I love this product, though. I think it's great. The cards look sharp. The colors are great. It would be nice to integrate Merlin into other sports, especially when Fanatics Tops has the licensing to all these other sports, you know? All right, here we go. Next one. Salio Main. And another Jeremy Pino. Oh, that's our second autograph of him. $37.99 Villarreal, which I believe is part of the 17 team combo list. We got Harvey Vale. Nice, Anthony Elanga. That is a gold rookie. 
Look at that. That is an awesome one there. I think he's a big player too. Manchester United. That's going to Peebles. That's 10 of 50. Did you know that Alonso played a full 90 minutes for Manchester United in his UEFA League's debut? December 8th, 2021. Man. There you go. Ooh! How about an Erlen Halan? 5 of 15. Shoo! Dorman going to Han. Great color in this case. You know, I did pull one of Halan's biggest cards that's ever sold. Besides the Super Factor, I pulled a red out of 10 from his Top Chrome Rookie. Remember, it sold for like over $200,000. Alright, here we go. Harvey Vale. Mason Mount. Harvey Barnes. Harvey Elliott. And we have Alexander Iska. To 250. Harvey Allen. Cristiano Ronaldo. And Felix. Tomas Muller. Oh, I was supposed to rip six boxes. I totally forgot. Oh, well, we'll just do this one really quick. Hosem. For two, out of 275. Nice, Mohamed Salah. That's for Liverpool. 21 out of 99. Ryan Gravenberch. Giovanni Reina. Dusan. Juventus. And our autograph here is for SSC Napoli. Colido. Leslie. I see a couple colors in here potentially. Felesh. Drogba, 
Daniel and Mokoko to one ninety nine. All right, let's rip the five boxes here, guys, and then we'll go through them. So I think I'm making good time. Right now I'm at 34 minutes and 30 seconds. Should be able to have this done. Yeah, let's do it, Anthony. I mean, hey, I want to break some Topps Chromes tonight. I want to do a lot of stuff tonight, but if the people want more soccer, then that's, that's what we're going to do then. If you really want Topps Chrome Baseball to fill up, guys, hey, like I said, I know those fillers technically don't have a discount, but we kind of are already giving away free spots, which is already technically kind of discounted. We're just giving it back to you guys that buy in, you know? So, remember, we're giving away a full free spot in that Topps Chrome. So, we already factored out that. And then, same thing for the pack filler. We're giving away seven spots, so we're only selling 23 spots. I know, Anthony, right? I feel like a lot of people that usually don't buy into soccer are just buying into it because the cards look nice, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm a guy that just knows the main players, you know. Some of the players that already are a little bit more established. And, you know, some of these rookies that got me introduced just because, obviously, this is like the, you know, fourth, fifth product that, like, I've seen where the rookies have been the same. But, you know, I did see Gavi in the... On Twitter yesterday, kind of trending, Gavi was signing autographs, and it looks like a fan uh, got like an autograph for him, but also slipped uh, her phone number on a little white piece of paper and gave it to him. <laughs> I was like, man, way to shoot your shot. So, I remember seeing him in that uh, trending because of that. And it's kind of funny because I think Gavi kind of almost dropped it. Was it from her Instagram, Chase? I seen it on Twitter, so I have no idea. But 
<laughs> Was it? <laughs> well, I guess that's the new way to do it, right? You don't give your phone number out. You just give the Instagram handle. That's all you need. That's right. Shoot or shoot. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's not like, you know, she wasn't good looking, right? I mean, if, uh, if she was, I don't know if he would follow, but that's one way to get someone's attention. How was the how was the that that Chargers um, Chiefs second half? I actually didn't get to see the second half much. I actually had a planned day off yesterday. I went to go see the Big Steppers tour. Kendrick Lamar's here in LA, so I uh, I got tickets for day two on a Thursday. So I didn't get to see the second half, but I did see the highlights though. Herbert, you know, getting a little injured there, but still, still bouncing back. 99-yard interception return. We gonna be all right. Yeah, I think I left my apartment, like, in the beginning of the third. Right when, like, the Chiefs scored that touchdown in the beginning of the third, I want to say. And I didn't really get to see much. Ooh, here's the case hit. Um, I, was, I was trying to watch a little bit at the concert in, in between sets. Because uh, I, I had missed the first artist. Um, but I got there for Baby Keem. And then when his set was over, I quickly... Uh, Try to watch a little bit of it, but I think it was over by then, so. Final score, I believe, was what, 27 24, something like that? But it looked like Asante Samuel Jr. dropped a couple interceptions, right? Asante Samuel Jr. is pretty good. He's a ball hawk just like his dad was. Just, just gotta make those. gotta catch those balls. I think Asante Samuel had tweeted that out saying that he was kind of the same way, you know, early in his career. All right, so we'll save this for last. Put that right over here in the back. And then we'll go through the five boxes here. Good luck, everybody. Angel Gomez. Hannibal for Manchester U. Knighted. 225. Romelu, Erlen Halan, and Harvey Barnes to ninety nine. Mo Salah. Oh well, there was one of them. I think he dropped like two of them though, Anthony. If I'm correct, but yeah, there was one of them that they ruled it an interception, but they went 
reviewed it and they said it was uh, incomplete or not under the right? It kind of moved and moved around as it hit the ground. But I think a lot of people, yeah, did say that it looked good to them. But you no, know. uh, Brian, it has not. If you click on the Nightbot uh, uh, schedule link right there, I'm gonna actually pin it. Uh, it'll show you our schedule. It's scheduled after this. We gotta do the filler and then the break. So we do have a little uh, Google Doc that has the schedule for when breaks do sell out. So definitely can check on that just in case you need to step away. But uh, yeah, it should be coming up soon, man. Kyogo. Frederico. Here's the auto. And it's Connor Bradley. It's your rookie autograph. 87 out of 99 for Liverpool. No problem, man. We have Alfredo Morelos. Weston McKinney. Sandro Tonali. Kylian Mbappe and Marcos Alonso for Chelsea. One and a half. The top of that auto. A blue. Rayan Turkey to seventy-five. John Pacheco, Roberto Carlos, Anthony Alanga, Suso. And a gold Suso for Sevilla. 36 of 50. Serge, Sasco, Trinidad and Arnold, Mokoko, Vinny Jr., Nicola Barella, Gavi Rookie. There's another Ray Ann. Robert Lewandowski, Romelu, and Ferian Torres. Yeah, I feel like we've had a lot of great colors so far. Autograph-wise, I don't think we've gotten in the craziest autos yet, right? So maybe maybe we can get a big auto to match a lot of these good colors we've gotten. Not to say Harry Kane wasn't a good one, but... Yeah, I I'm hoping for that. Ended dangerously. <sighs> All right, three more boxes to go. Ronaldo, Hannibal, Jota. Earl Alon Refractor. Camavinga. Jude Bellingham. Neymar. Nice Virgil. I feel like we've hit a lot of Virgil color for Liverpool, though. Might as well start a rainbow. Muriel. Messi. All right, where's this autograph at? I feel like we haven't got the autograph yet, have we? 
And another Connor Bradley. I feel like I pulled like four of his autographs already. Just some of the bigger teams I've done. <clears throat> Timothy Weah. I know, right? I don't even like Liverpool. Giorgino. Noni. Edenhoven. Otto. Whoa. Sorry about that. Ray Ann with that one. Sonny Perkins. Some of these cards are stuck together. Ray Bigger. Brandon Aronson. Charlie Savage. Manchester U. What a savage. Marcus Rashford. I don't really have a Premier League team I'd go for. If I had to choose, I'd probably go with Manchester United. I have a couple players that I like on there, but um, I was trying to start. I was going to try to start following PSG. I I've always liked Neymar ever since he's kind of kind of got big, especially like in the 2014 World Cup, I think it was, um, or 14, 16, whatever year that was. Um, and I kind of liked his documentary a lot that they showed on Netflix, so I kind of kind of like to follow him. But I know PSG obviously is not a Premier League team, but and then now obviously with Mbappe and then they even have Messi there now, they're pretty big, pretty big. But I guess they just tend to choke in Champions League though. <laughs> they can't get past the first round. Last one here, folks, and then we'll go with the ball match card. So I believe the ball match card should be the auto in this box because I don't think we had anything else. Unless it's just the bonus hit. I don't think so. Though. We have a Jadon Sancho to 275. Phil Folden. Jan. And there's our first Renaissance, Frederico. So at least we got one. And that is for Juventus. Shola. to just penny sleeve all the refractors so some of these refractors will probably not be top loaded but they'll at least be penny sleeved I'll at least leave them up there Oh, 
top one really quick. All right, here we go. Good luck. Last hit. Let's get a good match ball. And it is... Ah, I already got this guy before. Giorgino. Nice piece of the ball, though, but... I would love to have seen somebody different. Nice hit, though, for Chelsea, though, huh, with that one. So, still waiting for that huge match ball signature of a big, big time player. But nonetheless, still got a match ball at least. Again, this is Pikachu number five, guys. Uh, again, a lot of hits here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There must be another autograph hiding in here somewhere. Well, that's eleven, so I think you probably have one in here somewhere else here that I might have not top loaded, put in the stack. But appreciate it, folks. Um, did get a lot of good color, though. As you can see, Gavi right there. We did get one of those renaissances most a lot. Erlen Halan was out of 15. Ilanga, Pedri, Golds. So some nice stuff still regardless, guys. Uh, remember, number six is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.